What's going on you guys? This is Will here and welcome back to GTA 5. In the last video, we did a bunch of side missions. We did some some civil border patrol thing with Trevor and then we did this series of skydiving stuff with Franklin. And right now we are going to do the uh, final Lester mission and then we are going to uh, go see the FIB, I guess. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right, here we are. Hello. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. And let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Calm down? There's a fucking price on me, and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. Okay. Okay, I should... I feel like I should probably do this, like as stealthy as possible, so... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Nothing personal. Anybody? Let's see, is this an elevator right here? All right, let's go up. <laughs> Okay. Where's Enzo? It's fighting time. Is? I'll place all you fools if I have to. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers. Why is my gun pink? Wait, yeah, why is my gun pink? Is that a glitch? Wait, is that a glitch or... 
Did that Hector just randomly? Too much balls for this. There he is, drop. I ain't playing here. Where the fuck is Benelli? Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? Yo, yeah, why is this gun pink? Like, is that was that supposed to happen? Or I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong, it does look kind of cool, but I'm just curious how that happened. <laughs> Okay. Put a bullet in him. It's only one guy. Oh shit, there he is. Step. We got him trapped. Shoot that son of a bitch. Will somebody kill that fucking asshole? Oh, nope. Boom. Oh, for that, homie. Ah. Help. Buddy, help. Leave the area. All right, leave by any means necessary. Like jumping off with a parachute, you got it. Oh, oh, oh! Screw okay. this! Woohoo, we're out. Good. It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we did it. All right, you guys. I am going to go get the price up. Alrighty, you guys, let's see what their final amount is, because it looks like this has gone up as high as it's going to. So let's see what their final amounts are for the final stocks mission. So Franklin ends with 26 million. Not bad. Let's see, Trevor ends with 70 million. And Michael. Michael ends with. 280 million. Oh my god. Michael be rich. <laughs> Martin. Hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look. I'm going to find a way to make this right with you. That would take some doing. Alrighty, you guys. Let's see what Let's see what Mr. Uh, Haynes wants now. What ridiculous job does he have now? All right. Let's, uh, what are we meaning here? Oh, I remember. This is where Trevor makes the math and stuff. Oh my god, was he just oh, peeing in the corner? Nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh. oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, yeah! I'm sorry. <laughs> we've got a problem. Government funding. What now? We need you to uh, investigate a research lab upstate. 
It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Oh, really? You don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> oh, oh really? set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, he really did, right though. It's sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Oh, I'm keeping you in bye this bye. thing. Bye. Don't come back. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Right, you so... you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay? We gotta find a way to pay oh, for all of this, you're then? driving us up to the bank. <laughs> okay. So, we're going... Right, so... We got another mission to do, and we also have to... Pay for a bunch of equipment, I guess? Well, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I bet you we're... I bet you we're gonna have to end up getting rid of hands at the end of this because it keeps making us do all this anyway let's go no no all right let's go let me call lester what now we got a funding problem so we need a job before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Okay. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Wait, so Don't we're start. robbing an actual no bank way. now? Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. Okay. I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend. Industry leader. Uh, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a style. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? What are you, is he you talking about? You are a hipster. <laughs> oh my god. You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do! Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. 
Why, it'll be because I'm living out here, away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> oh my god. I like how Michael just out of the blue just says hipster again and <laughs> triggers him. The bus stops up here. Oh my All god. Right. How long does it take right. us to get out here from LS? Probably a couple of hours. Well, in game hours. You guys are gonna be waiting a bit. <laughs> Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Lester on here. Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is it, I presume. Right next to the Karate Kid apartment. <laughs> or across from it. All right. And that's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Okay. And there's an empty lot behind. And no one should pay attention to us back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Why does Trevor want to do this specific place so bad? <laughs> okay, uh, all right. What am I, this? Yep. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Okay. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm yeah, just, going off at Lane County Savings Bank. Just getting gas across the here, street. Toledo cars three, six, nine, and one will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. True. Probably. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Okay. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car-to-car -car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Search Better get out of here. Fuck this! 
I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey, wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not okay. gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're Let's going. go. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Oh, oh, we're racing Trevor. All right, sure. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're gonna stall. All right, Ricky, honey. Hey, get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor <laughs> says office, he really means a burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea. I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab. You're correct. Just perfect. Laboratory don't do don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole. Where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Okay. You've been day trading? No. God, no. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I have, trading. and I've no, made millions. Why we need the money. <laughs> then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. It now, does. Can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, we're just about back, I think. got here before the lord of the manor <laughs> barely the man slows me down always has what took you so long <laughs> set up a board over here oh Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Oh, God, what is that? Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless... That's awful. ...gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Okay. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. 
convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get okay. you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Lido Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you. So my advice, choose someone good. Okay. All right, so we need to choose someone good here. Okay, so... Gustavo Moda, he's good, it looks like. We can do him. Okay, someone good. So, these two are not. Packy McCreary, I'll consider. Eh, think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. Okay. Uh. All right, yeah, I'll do Chef, honestly. That it? You sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. Right, so, so. Fine. I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, what did you expect? <laughs> oh, that's awful. I don't want to look at that. Uh, uh, Alrighty then. Uh, Wait, Trevor just now got Lester as a contact. I thought he already did. Alright, well. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to. Hello? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey man. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, well with that being said, I think I'm gonna stop this video here because we've just about reached 30 minutes. But yeah, in the next video, I guess we will, uh, I don't know, I guess fight the remaining O'Neills or whatever we're doing, but yeah. But yeah, this is getting interesting, so I'm going to stop this video here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.